In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the distance between skew lines. The question reads, find the distance between skew lines with the parametric equations provided underneath. Remember what skew lines are from our previous video. That's when you have two lines that are in 3D space, they do not intersect, and are not parallel. What we're looking for here is the distance between these two lines. The first thing that you want to do is find the direction vectors of these parametric equations. Now notice the first row represents parametric equations for one line and it's represented by the factor t and in the second row we have another set of parametric equations with s. To extract the direction vector of these three parametric equations, the first three, all you have to do is look for the coefficients in front of t. So the coefficient here is 1, that's 6, and that's 2. So the direction vector v1 has the x, y, and z components of 1, 6, and 2, respectively. The direction vector for the second set of parametric equations is 2, 15, and positive 6. The reason why this is important is because we technically have two direction vectors, and if we take the cross product of these two direction vectors, we'll end up with a third vector that is perpendicular to both. I'll explain why that's important in a moment, but first let's find the cross product. To find the cross product, you can remember this mnemonic. You write this down twice, 1, 6, 2, 1, 6, 2, write that down twice, 2, 15, 6, 2, 15, 6, and remembering this pattern, we can come up with the x, y, and z components of the cross product vector. So 6 times 6 is 36, minus the product of these two, that's 30. So 36 minus 30 is equal to, 6. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 6 is negative 2. 2 times 15 is 15, minus 12 is 3. So this right here is the cross product vector of v1 and v2. So keep in mind that this vector is perpendicular to v1 and v2. The next thing that I want to do before we get into why finding the cross product is important is I want to come up with a point using the parametric equations defined in this line and the parametric equations defined in this line. And all I have to do is set t is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0. That will give me a point. So if I set all of these t is equal to 0, I'll end up with a point along this line that is 1, 1, and 0. And a point along this line let's call it p2 and that p1, setting that equal to 0, this one and this one, 1, 5, and negative 2. 1, 5, and negative 2. I can easily come up with the distance between both of these points by subtracting the corresponding coordinates. So if I subtract 1 minus 1, I end up with 0, 5 minus 1 is 4, and negative 2 minus 0 is negative 2. And these numbers can represent a vector on their own. So the vector would have an x, y, and z component of 0, 4, and negative 2. I'll call this b, this vector. Now it turns out that the distance between the skew lines is the absolute value of the scalar projection of the vector that we just found, b, along the cross product vector. And if you recall, the scalar projection had the formula shown on your screen right now the dot product of a and b, where that's b, and a is, let's say this, divided by the magnitude of a. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take the dot product of these two vectors, 6 times 0, that's 0, plus negative 2 times 4, that's negative 8, plus 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6, negative 8, plus negative 6 is negative 14, and we'll take the absolute of this divided by the magnitude of A, which can be found using the distance formula. So we have 36, 6 to the power of 2 is 36, negative 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So the absolute of negative 14 divided by the denominator, let's use our calculator, 14 divided by the square root of 36 plus 4 plus 9 
and that gives us 2. So the distance between this line and this line is 2 units apart. And there you have it. That is how to find the distance between skew lines.